Ladies and gentlemen, have you heard the news? I'm bringing it to you right now, right now, from the frozen tundra of the great Midwest, the former great Midwest, now part of the cesspool known as Obama land, formerly America. The porn church. I've been giving you stuff that pastors are so smart, man. These pastors are such geniuses. Now they got the p -p -p porn church and they're laying it on you. They're bringing triple X porn stars and they're having them go on tour, man. They're going on tour all over Obama land and they're preaching from the pulpit. They're telling, they're saying, they're asking, how many of you have have read my new porn book and, and the and the and the, the, the Christians, man, the evangelicals, oh yeah, I've read it. Woo, yeah, I've read it. You want my autograph? And they're signing autographs, man, and taking pictures after you know, in the foyer after the service. And they're up there saying that God and porn are totally compatible in it, and that God's totally cool with adultery. He's totally cool with fornication. He's totally cool with all that. It's just your hang up. It's, it's your little hang ups, Christians that keep God, that keep you from doing these things. God don't care. He's, he's cool with it, man. God and porn, Jesus and porn, and all that stuff mixes up cool. Adultery, fornication, hey, that's your, that's your thing. And the pastors are sitting right there letting it happen. It is just unbelievable how bad this church has become. It's pathetic beyond imagination. And I <coughs> actually contacted several people who were letting this thing go on. You know, they told me, they told me, you need to think outside the box. Because you're old timer, you're old fashioned. You don't you, you don't think outside the box like these new cool preachers do that, that just find a way to reach the world like like the bar preachers I've told you about, the strip club preachers and the and the and the wet t shirt contest and church preachers. Those are the new guys, man. That that's the that's the new the new Jack, yo. That's what you gotta be doing. You gotta be getting it out there. You got are you feeling me? <laughs> that's what you're telling me, man. You, you need to just get with the program and just understand the truth because I'm just you're just too way too old fashioned. You're like one of those glass jar windows with a fire axe behind it, break in case of emergency. We don't want to hear from you, junk. You don't don't be trying to don't be trying to mess with my vibe. Don't, don't be trying to to ruin our feel good vibe of bringing the porn stars in the church. I'm sick of it, man. This the church, especially here in Obama land, formerly America, has turned into a garbage dump, man. It's turned into a free for all, just sewer hole. And the pastors and all the Christians that sit there in the pews, shame on you all. You got to stand before Jesus Christ, not the beam of seat judgment, man. You aren't going there. You're going to the great white throne judgment. You believe what you want to believe. You, I hear you saying right now, oh, you know, poor kid, uh, uh, yeah, there's no way I'm going to the great white throne judgment. I'm a Christian, yeah. Yeah, Christians can't go to hell. Uh, yeah, we can even be, we can be fornicators and child molesters and rapists and murderers and devil worshippers and atheists and, yeah, it doesn't matter. We can be sodomites. We're not going to hell. You know what? Save it for somebody else, man. T -t -t Time out. You might be selling. Paul Kidd's not buying. I'm telling you what the Bible says, and the Bible says that you are hell bound unless you repent. And he, and eventually, the lake of fire, which is going to as bad as hell is, the lake of fire is going to make hell seem like Disneyland. <laughs> Throw your arms up. Woo! Let's go for another ride. That's what it's going to be like. It's no joke. It is serious, serious business. You better start repenting right now because Jesus Christ is not playing games. I'm sick of the church. That's why I invite you all to come to my online church, man. Whenever you see the word sermon in front of anything that I put, I do at least one a week, sometimes more. You'll get fed the meat and potatoes, man. You'll get fed the medium rare ribeye, a fully loaded baked potato, or a, a, a sweet potato if you'd like with some cinnamon and some marshmallows and some butter. You'll get a full lobster tail, a Caribbean lobster tail, not the main lobster. We're not messing with that. We're doing, we're doing Car Caribbean mon. You got the ting mon. Get the lobster mon. And we had the lobster tail mon. And you get a big piece of homemade key lime pie. Not the stuff that you buy in the grocery store. Not that stuff. Edwards or whatever. I'm talking about the real key lime pie, the Key West recipe. That's what you get fed here. And church is not some whitewashed building. It's where two or three are gathered together. In Jesus' name, we always are here. And I'll, I'll bring you the real word. Stuff you're not hearing anymore. So many say, oh, poor kid, you're just a hardcore. You're just harsh. and You're mean. No, I'm bold. And I'm fierce. And I lay down the law. Like the Bible says that all pastors are supposed to. Most pastors are mealy-mouthed wimps. They don't want to lay anything down but their, but their standards. Lay their standards all the way down and let you just do what you want. Oh, you're the head and not the tail. And receive this great blessing. Baloney. You need to start falling on your knees and you need to start getting right with the Lord before you receive hell and the lake of fire is what you better receive, get ready to receive.
Your only hope is Jesus. If you've never been saved, I got a prayer in the box below the video title, Six Vital Next Steps. Pray that prayer. Do those steps as soon as possible. No one's guaranteed more time in their life. Also, if you want me to pray for you, contact me and I will. Christians, witness and pray night and day. It's our job. It's our duty. It's our calling. If you're not doing it, shame on you. Start doing it. If you are, look up. Our different draweth nigh. We fly soon. Check you later.